Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to the first video on a new series on a game called The Spatials. What is The Spatials, you may be asking? Well, according to the email they sent me, it's a game where you build a space station, attract visitors from all over the galaxy, and sell them tons of stuff for filthy lucre. And when you're... and where are you going to find all these resources you're building? By exploring hundreds of planets. Some aliens, pirates, and or robots may take issue about your reckless plundering, but hey, you got some good arguments on your side like high explosives and the large caliber weapons. So the game is uh, kind of a sim game. Maybe think maybe a theme park, uh, sort of space based DF9 if you remember that thing. <laughs> and then throw in a little bit of maybe Diablo and maybe some star control too. The game has got a lot going for it. It's compacted into a little package. It doesn't, when you first look at it, it doesn't look like much. We're gonna jump in here in a second. But it uh, doesn't look like much, but the game really does have a lot of depth. It just got released to version 2.4.0, and it is beta. It is coming to Steam sometime in the next couple of months. I really have been wanting to play this, and I told the developers I was waiting until I had a, a little bit further in development. I played it back in 2.2.0 on the channel, and now we are ready to go into a brand new game. So let's do it. Let's process. Here we go. 5781 AD, Human Federation Headquarters, Earth. Greetings, officer. Your outstanding work as a rank 5 bureaucrat has been noticed by your superiors. You have been chosen to build and lead a new station in an uncharted corner of the galaxy. That's her voice. I'm, I'm, that's, my, that's my female voice. Explore the surrounding systems and their planets. Discover their resources and deal with any opposition. You have the trust of the Human Federation. Welcome, my name is TR303, and I've been programmed to help you with new station managers with my tutorial scripts. Click continue to advance to the next page. So we've got the little base here. Those are little guys, aren't they cute? Hey, little guys. Continue. This is your space station, where your officers will work and live. It starts with just a humble teleport room in the center of an asteroid. Move around and inspecting your station is vital to your day-to-day -day management. Scroll the map and click and drag with your right mouse button. That's actually my left mouse button. And that's my right one. And zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. If this t tutorial pop-up gets in the way of your task, you can close it with the X. Yep, and we can get back to it anytime we want by clicking on the little guy. I can show you how to perform a few tasks now. Click menu to open another tutorial now. Welcome. Oh, we already did that one. Hi, welcome back. Oops. Okay, objects. Objects are parts of the act, oh, whatever. We don't need that. <laughs> the game is, well, you get this, like space space, Space Base DF9. I'll slow down and enunciate better. And we can build different things into here. So there is the removal tool, there is the station, technical station facilities, and then there is the basic living needs. So we have the uh, the shelter, we can build like a bedroom. This isn't necessarily for our our officers here, but uh, we can we can still do it. So what I'm going to do is it kind of the isometric view of this is a little bit wonky to get used to. So this one comes out of the middle. And if we wanted to build a 5x5 five five right in the center, we'd go like that, right? So that's built, but we can't connect it with the hallway, or we can't connect it with the barrack shelter floor. We need to actually go to the corridor and connect the runes. Now the whole time it's using these credits, and this credit is up here as soon as they start building it. And build it up. There we go. Negative two credits. Now we're down to 9,998. They're going to continue building this up. So as they're building that, we can take a peek at some of the other menu options. Up here is the uh, galaxy, basically, sub Tanica, and we can click on here, and we can click on here, and then we can do different missions here. At the end of this video, uh, middle to end of the video, we're gonna we're gonna go to Nate, and we're gonna take Nate out. We can also go do contracts. We can go to Medical Summit, and can have <laughs> WTF difficulty. So this is very difficult, but we can do normal difficulty here. It doesn't tell us what we do, but we can get some contract money if we start it. We send in three of our officers, they ship off to the planet, come back down, and we get some money. And then we can look at our staff here, the officers that we have. So they have sleep is vital, hunger is vital, they have more energy, the higher level they go, the higher health, and the work dupes, whatever that means. I guess double the energy. Ooh, green token. Knowledge is vital. So you can see they get to level 30, up to level 30. Their sleep is there. And that is pretty much it. There's some other things here. We can sort by diplomacy. 
Uh, there is each different tasks. We have a doctor, a scientist, a diplomat, engineer, and strategist. Strategist? Strategist is the right word. And we can come back and check it out. Our little buddies have completed the bedroom. Well, sort of. We need to put in some stuff, like beds. I'm going to put in about three of them. We'll turn that, rotate them. And rotate, and rotate. Actually, let's put in six. We'll do it over here, too. There we go. They, they do cost a little bit of coin. That's okay. And then let's put in a few lockers. They're just decorative. We'll just put them in between, right? Good and good. So now we have our things. This one, oops, she went to bed and got back up. Rika Brooks, level one, and she is euphoric. She likes being here. That's a, that's a locker. Haha! <laughs> Mufflin Doring. <laughs> he actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> Look at that sweet mustache. I wish I could grow a mustache like that. Uh, I didn't check over here either. This is the um, the alerts and messages. Different things can happen. We can look at them. These are visits. Kind of like the stats page in RimWorld. If you look at that, this is a little more detailed. The amount of foods we can make and the products we can craft. That's a long way down. And then this thing is the tech tree. So we already have the living room and we have the logistics, which we're going to build next. And then after that, we can start the factory. Unlocks with 500 credits. We can unlock it. And it'll give us a kitchen smelter workshop. Another... Basic kitchen is the building inside of the room, like the bed, metal press for the smelter, and chemical workshop. So that's cool. We'll get to that in a little while. Uh, we need to continue building up our base a little bit more first. So let's get to the corridor. We're going to do a security gate. We don't really need that right now. We are going to do a star port, though, and I think I'm going to put that right here. So that's going to go there. Again, we're going to block it off with the corridor. Actually, this is going to be removed. It's a little bit wonky yet. I'm still not 100% um, in tuned with the, the whole isometric deal. And you can't turn. There is no like hit Q button on the main screen to flop directions or uh, maybe a left turn to zoom different way. It's always going to be this top down look. I'm, I'm not the hugest, hugestest fan. That's not even a word about that, but it is what it is. So we're going to build this room. We're going to see what it is, and we're also going to start a warehouse. We're going to do the warehouse on the other side, and that's going to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to do that a 5x5. Five five. That's 6x6, six six, isn't it? Which way do I need to go? See? It's a little bit crazy. We can hit is it this button. Yes, that brings down the walls. And I did it one away again. We'll demolish right up here. And right here. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, floor. Got it. Now we'll do a corridor right here. Perfect. So this is a spaceport. I really like this view though. It looks a little better. The spaceport needs a... Oh, if I click on spaceport, it drops down to the dock. We can get a dock in. We'll do that at the end of the video. We don't need that at the moment. We are going to get the... Oops. Go away. Go away. Yeah. And go here. So this one has both pallets. It expands our inventory capacity to four slots, buy four slots, and a recycler destroys items for credits. So this is going to come up, we're going to put a recycler in the middle, actually where they're standing right there. And I need to see the front, there we go. I'm going to build that up, and we can pop in some shelves along the outside. These are a little bit expensive, so we're only going to build four to begin with. We have to keep that money. That 10,000 credits is always all we get for right now until we, we go do some more stuff. Okay, next up. Hopefully they claim these rooms. You gonna claim it? Is that gonna be, gonna be good? I think so. All right, we're good to go. And now let's do the spaceport. Dock. Too close to other objects. My dock isn't big enough. So, let's open it up some. Just like, uh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Go for it, friends. And then this will move over here. I think it, I thought it was th one around each side. Maybe it's a little bigger. So what the dock does, uh, what's up, dock? The dock brings in the 
the visitors like these guys. So the Blorgs, the Crustaceans, the Humans, the Lemurians, the Nogus. That brings in those, and this is this is really nice. The the whole user interface in this game is pretty clean. It's not too intrusive. I mean, it's big, but it's it's still pretty too close to other objects. All right, there we can get it in the middle. So we got another twenty, yeah, money on there. Not really money, but I think it's happiness. I'm not sure. And now we're gonna get three of these guys, and they need vitals, hygiene, consumerism. So they want shops, thirst, hunger, and sleep. They're going to stick around for about four minutes. I don't have any of that. I probably didn't need to build this thing right now, but we can still get a little money coming in. They can rest, and they're going to share the same beds as our as our travelers. And we could maybe put a security door so they don't wander all over our, our base, but we don't need to do that now. Let's go to Nate. We're going to do that. And we have our five guys that are coming with us. We need to complete this. We get one research point, 27 aluminum, 64 credits and complete this mission to unlock resources and higher difficulties. Resources we get are water and, is that aluminum? Okay, so let's start. This is where the game gets a lot of fun. Okay, you've re received invitation for brunch in the space station. It can't be called that. We can't refuse. Headquarters says it's good for diplomacy. Oh boy. Okay, let's just slow it down. I could pause it, couldn't I? <laughs> that doesn't really help. So, left click. Uh, let's just get through this. Uh, go away. Nope, wrong one. This one. Okay. You can see it, everything goes real time, too. Let's kill these guys. Too far. Closer. Alright, so we got rid of those guys. It was a little bit... wasn't expecting that right away. We have our five different guys down here. You probably saw me use the grenade skill. So this guy has a, a long shock. It's kind of like a, a rifle. So you can fire in any direction. I can fire and he just lasers it up. And then this one has a grenade. That is the radius that I used in the, before. You can throw it that far. And it doesn't It doesn't seem to do um, friendly fire. This one is kind of a cool one. I think it's like an energy boost. No, this is the energy boost. I don't know what this one actually does. Hmm. This is heal and that's the energy boost. So if I hit five, everyone would get a little energy. If I hit four, Everyone would heal a little bit. Very cool. So the object here is talk to the chef. We want to do that, but everyone here is hostile. So we can run in and kill everything. There we go. See, we're getting experience and points. And then those, that was water, if you saw that little icon. Perfect. We can come over here. And that is a little bit of aluminum. We have a nice big... Oh, there. Some of these guys are hostile, some are. Oh, they're stuck. Come on back. Hide in the cover. Come on. Come back. So it's a little adventure game. This is where they called it the Diablo in the write-up. You have a little bit of an adventure going on to go collect the resources. And then we bring these resources back and we use that to build the space station up more. So it's, it's really cool how that works. Everything's tied together. Need to make sure our energy's good. I think we're okay for right now. Oh, we didn't die. Did we lose someone over here? No, that's the arrow. Arrow's pointing to the chef. We'll take out the chef here in a minute. After we get some more water. Okay. I don't like this. We're trapped. Come in here. I don't think they really like to go through rooms too much. Make sure we have our health up. Not everyone has a gun either, from what I've seen. Okay, got all the good stuff. Let's clear these guys out before talking to the chef. Hey, you didn't die. Go away. I need to collect that. Gotcha. And every mission is totally different, too. Well, the ones that I've played are all different. There's a crate over here we can pick up for loot. Just a little bit of aluminum. Aluminum. Good. No more stuff? Alright. Are you hostile? You are. Wasn't expecting that. I think that star means they're like an elite. A mini-boss sort of thing. Yes, mini-boss. And we can get rare items from these guys, too. 
and those will pop up in our inventory bar. The inventory bar I'll show you here as soon as we're done with this. This is the inventory bar here. <laughs> it's right at the bottom of the screen. Continue killing. We keep mashing that on cooldown now. Gotcha. A little bit better. Yes, I know I could be using the other stuff, but we're fine for right now. Good. Okay. Now the, the energy does recover a little bit on its own. So does health. We can stay here for a little bit and see what happens. Want to get that box? These guys aren't hostile yet until we talk to the chef. Well, spoiler alert. So, we can walk all the way through here. We can heal up. Get more energy. And then once we talk to him, I don't want to get too close yet. Let's just get a little more energy back. Still in cooldown? Okay, this should be fine. Health is pretty good. Alright. As you approach the chef, stench of oil and rat roast becomes overwhelming. He knows 1001 recipes for magma rats. Oh, hello, explorers. What are you conquering today? Not my restaurant, I hope. Ha 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 ha. We want uh, bre breakfast. Yeah, bre definitely breakfast. What fortunate coincidence. I've baked a delicacy, rat bagel with rat sprinkling and rats. Here, taste a bite. You slowly chow down on the bagel. Okay. And projectile vomit everywhere. Sweet. <laughs> oh, you'll pay for this. Alright, they're hostile at us. Let's just grenade them all. That's, that's what I like to do. Do we have the mini-boss? We can take out. I still don't know why we needed to really kill him. But it is fun. And we need to take out everyone else. All of the patrons of the restaurant. Perfect. And if we lose, if we do lose a guy, uh, they're permanently gone. So you kind of get attached to your, your fellows. Your little officers. Alright, defend yourself. We got one more here. Perfect. Aha. Hope you kept some bagel. We have a mega roach infestation in Sector B. Looks like it would kill them fast. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> if it kills roaches, that's not good. Alright, so we can come back to the ship. Or we can just click this button. Okay, what, what does this do? Remove blueprint. No, that's definitely not for this. <laughs> okay, back to the planet. Yes. Oh, leave. Leave. Home. Ha ha. No, I don't want to replay. System up. Optim has been unlocked. Make sure you gear up before we head there. Okay, we're here now. Is everyone back? Everyone is back. Cool. We can also go through, and since we have everything already, right? Everything's there. We got some people coming in in about three minutes time. Oh, no we don't. They're here for three minutes. We, we really need to uh, unlock some stuff. So we have the factory next. We can also get the service station. So if I unlock the factory, this will give us the kitchen, the smelter, the workshop, and then the different tools that go inside there. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna unlock that. Good, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna build a little bit, right? So, we have the new factory button. We have a room, the smelter, for ore processing. Let's go on the floor and put down the walls and make a five by five. We also have a kitchen, right? So let's do the kitchen no, not right there. That's a bad place for it. I wanted to move. We'll click through it. Kitchen. And we'll do that right next to here. Uh, I don't know if that'll work. Well, it'll be a weirdly shaped kitchen. How's that sound? Okay, and then we need to do the corridors in between. Corridor? Yeah, it's ready to go. Good. Let's get out of that menu because that is kind of obnoxious. So we do have, uh, we did get 67 of the aluminum. We got 32 water. Water is used sometimes for the kitchen stuff. We can also go in and we can look at the hall now. The hall is the cheap food service, but it requires two research points, which we only have one from that last thing. So you can kind of see how it goes. You build your base, you do a mission, come back to the base, build it some more, go do another mission. 
And if you wanted to, uh, you can go off and do contacts. So I'm not going to do that yet. I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like doing it yet. So some of them take a little bit of bonus. We can talk to them and we can do other things too. And I always think that this is some sort of reference to a TV show. Um, yes. And then there's other things here. Planet resources. And we can get rid of that. And this goes here. So we can see that this is actually an embassy. We can do recruits. We can recruit these guys. Louis Flaubert, Townie Greer, and the diplomat. So that's kind of cool. We could recruit those guys if we wanted to right now. Not going to. Or we can put people on the planet. In the embassy we can resource exploitation period for this system. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> so we're going to go back to the main one. They should have our rooms mainly completed. And if we go and we can put like a basic kitchen. This does kind of bother me that it's not going to be symmetric, but that's okay. I'm going to put that on this back wall. This actually might not be right. I don't know. I played the game, but I haven't gotten too terribly far. So they're going to build this. That may mean... No, we have enough tools. And then we can build the chemical workshop. That won't go in there because we have to build an actual uh, workshop. Five. We may be using up a lot of space too, but that's okay. It's always fun to explore and we can always break it down and rebuild it. Always a fun thing to do in the games like this. So this now, click on it and pick a production recipe to start. Okay. None of the products manufactured here have been unlocked yet. Unlock lock more nodes in the tech tree. There we go. So we can't quite build the basic kitchen, but we could recycle some stuff. We could recycle our aluminum to get credits. That's a bad idea for right now. So we're going to leave that and then we can go back in here and the smelter. We can get the metal press right there. So that'll build that up. We're going to have to get uh, some more of these things to be able to craft them. So that's all ready to go and we're going to let these guys build should be close to done and we'll put in a put in one of these chemical workshop we'll put that in the same corner as this one right here I don't know which way it goes looks like it goes that way from the picture very good so nothing is uh, nothing's producible yet and we'll get to that very soon so guys I think that may do it for the first episode it's gone pretty quick 22 minutes in uh, that seems to be a, a decent length for the first episode of a series. So, let me know if you like this. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.